<laughs> Did you guys get the uh, next uh, script yet? Oh my gosh, no. no. I don't think. Did you get the pizza? I, I think you're. Uh, yeah, I did order the pizza. Wait. Is that all? Do you, do you, is that all you're here for? Is the free food? But he doesn't even eat the. It's food. about the work. Well, and the scotch. It's about the work. You got okay. the scotch, well, right? Okay, because the three lines that you had last week that was about the uh, work. Yeah, but they okay. were. The, are you talking about me? Uh, those were yeah. the three most important lines. But you kept forgetting them. Well, <laughs> so. but they're there that now. Was the scotch. They're there, but now we're on a new show. I always wanted to play an egomaniac, a control freak, um, and of course the money. I needed the money. You could start from the beginning. He, deep, deep down, I think he is a good person. Wow. I think you can tell just by seeing this character. He's, he's a lovely guy. He's a really interesting, primordial guy. I think of him as kind of um, the lowest life form. But he's extremely arrogant. You know, like the, just, just he's nothing but farting. Egotistical. I just wanted to see how he is when he's erotic, when he's turned on. Self-centered. I, I find that masturbating in a cave is really what gets me to the heart of Steve Skelton. Narcissistic. And most importantly, let me not forget, I, I've never played a ginger. He's not funny. He really is an excellent masturbator. But, you know, it's, we love him. He's still a good person deep down. I feel like a ginger is a whole different species of human and as an actor to get to play a ginger to me is a gift. I think uh, I've learned a lot from this character, a lot of what not to do. I don't have those dark places personally, um, but I do know a lot of people who do. I met with Todd before um, playing him and uh, I definitely, we hung out, we, well, we watched some porn together. So I've been learning about all the darkest parts of humanity, and it's been really an amazing experience for an actor. When the hair goes on, uh, you really, it's almost like a light bulb has gone on in me. And you know, like what, like I took a, some Cialis or one of those drugs, I just get really, I, honestly I get really horny and turned on. Um, I look at it like a boys don't cry, type situation, I pop those boobs back out, take out that dildo, and I just take off that facial hair and I'm back to me. So it's not too hard to shake it, but I definitely meditate, take a hot bath, drink a bottle of wine, you know, take a yoga class. I, I definitely have to do a few things just to get back and to And remind me. yourself that you're not a monster. Yes. I, I just want to act my ass off right now. Oh. How's it looking? Okay, how's it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Feels good. Yeah? I'm ready. Tight. 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 I feel like right. Todd. I feel like Todd right now. You I'm do? ready to go. Always do yeah. such a good job. Let's go do the show, you guys. Right. Thanks. Let's do right. it. Hit High it. five. Yeah, All right. let's go. Woo! Show. Oh, God, I'm so tired. Hi, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. Woo! You hear that? It's our hundredth episode. Amazing. And it's our first ever episode with a live studio audience. What? Whoa. 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 Whoa, it's crazy. I am your host, Todd Anderson. This is film pig Steve Skelton. Hello. This is film pig Steve Falk. And we're going to start the show the way we always do, with a little thing we call popcorn. Popcorn. But we're taking it to the audience. Oh, yeah, yeah. Popcorn. Popcorn. Let's go back and do the rest of the show now. I'm so winded. I'm exhausted. That was exhausting. Okay. So, now is the time on the show where we do this thing we call Rash Judgments. There are a lot of movies uh, coming out in the theater, right, studio audience? Yeah! Yeah, yeah they said, yeah. <laughs> and how, how do you know which movies to go see, studio audience? I don't know. You, you, you watch you guys. Right, no we're going to tell you, even though we haven't seen the movies because nope. uh, nobody lets us go to preview screenings nope. or census screeners. We're on lists of I, yeah. people who can't in, in a lot of cases, we're just not allowed in movie theaters, so we can't even see them after. We have a lot of... 
We're, there's a lot of restrictions. We burned a lot of bridges. A lot of bridges burned. But uh, we're going to tell you our opinions anyway, because we're assholes. Um, yeah. Let's start with Steve Skelton. Steve what? Skelton, what's your rash judgment for? Oh, guys, my rash judgment is for a movie called, what is it, Dawn? It's Dawn. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Ooh. Oh, oh you guys, it's got apes. It, they're CG apes. <laughs> and they're, CG apes. they're dawning. And uh, <laughs> they're, dawning? The they're taking dawning. over the world. This is a sequel to Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which is actually a really fun reboot of the Apes franchise. Yeah, it's good. And uh, this is takes place uh, years after the reboot. And so most of humanity is uh, gone and the apes are kind of taken over and things are getting crazy. And it stars a uh, uh, recently apologetic Gary Oldman. <laughs> uh, and I'm, I can only assume in this dystopian f ape future, he's still apologizing. <laughs> Probably, I, I don't know, uh, uh, multiple times a day mm -hmm. to different factions. Um, and also Andy Serkis, who does all of the motion capture ape stuff. And I like it. I'm going to see it. It's got fighting apes, you guys. Studio audience, do you agree or disagree with Steve Skelton? Yeah. 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 They agree. Oh, 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 and it also, uh, uh, it's also stars a uh, friend of the show, Lombardo Boyar. Lombardo is in, Boyar. Uh, is in also in uh, Big Ass Spider. Big Claire Ass Kramer. Spider with Claire Kramer. Yeah. Who may or may not be in our studio audience right now. Um, Steve Falk, what is your rash judgment? Do you like childhood? Yes. <laughs> Do you like Austin, Texas? Oh, yeah. Do you like Ethan Hawke? Eh. Then you're going to love Boyhood. Two out of three. New movie by uh, <laughs> Richard Linkletter. Yeah, this is a movie that he started 12 years ago. Uh, a little family, family drama there with Patricia Arquette and Ethan Hawke. It looks like they're playing divorced parents. And there's this kid. But then what's special about Boyhood, you guys, is that he went and, and, and filmed the kid like every like couple years. So you see him grow up into a young man. Uh, uh, like, I guess, an 18-year-old or 19-year-old or something. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, and he, and he grew up looking just like Ethan Hawke, which is mm -hmm. kind of weird, uh, mm -hmm. but perfect. Um, it's very, it looks very twee and Sundancey. Uh, the preview has some little strummy, strummy song and, uh, and, and, and like, family squabbles and, uh, and dreamy stuff and, like, girls and shit. Um, boyhood. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been talked about a lot. It got some rave reviews at some festivals, so I'm probably going to go see it. What do you guys think, audience? Yeah. Yeah. Take it off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, studio you guys. <laughs> hey, studio audience. What do you think about Steve Fox's use of the word tweet? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're also tween. a little on the fence about that. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Tweet. Tween. 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 Yeah. Um, guess what? I, I prefer tween. I, Todd Anderson, also have a rash judgment. Wait, you guys. Wait, that's what? breaking the protocol. Oh, yeah, it's weird because we don't have a guest. We just have a studio audience. So I'm going to give you a rash judgment. Crazy. Mine's for a movie called A Long Way Down. What? And in this movie, Pierce Brosnan <laughs> goes up onto a roof to try and jump off the roof oh, and kill book. himself. I read this book. Yeah, the bo it's based on a book by a guy named uh, Nick Hornby in the Range. <laughs> and uh, Pierce Brosnan goes up onto a roof to jump off the roof, and uh, then, and then right before he jumps off, Tony Collette comes out because she's going to jump off the roof and says, "Hey, are you going to be a while?" And he says, "What?" <laughs> and then uh, that Aaron Paul guy from Breaking Bad shows up to jump off the roof. It's my roof, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, some British hot chick. Uh, comes on the roof too, and she she's oi, gonna. Oi, this is my roof. Oi, yeah, it was oi. Is that your British oi. hot chick yeah. voice? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she just said oi. Uh, isn't that an Australian thing? Just run with it. Whatever. Uh, yeah, oi. Yes, I am that uh, she on. says oi. I was gonna jump off the roof, and then they all say, hey, instead of jumping off the roof, let's be friends. <laughs> And they become friends. And then Dante's Peak explodes. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you, no, it doesn't. Dante's Peak does not <laughs> explode. Mrs. Doubtfire comes which out. Is, which is why halfway through the trailer of this movie, I wanted to jump off a roof. So I'm going to say, eh, don't go see this. Don't go see it. If you like Nick Hornby in the range, just watch High Fidelity again. Mm -hmm. Right? That was Nick Hornby in the range. Sure. Is it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, see High Fidelity and not uh, this a long way down thing. And that's Rash Judgments, everybody! Yay! Yay. Applause. Our studio audience is so half-assed. <laughs> they <don't laughs> they They're so tired. <laughs> they don't care. They're, they're tired. Get, they're getting a little, oh. like, belligerent. Yeah, they're, they're belligerent. Uh, they, they're working out bits over uh, there. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Clapping bits.
This um, is you know what, guys? <laughs> this is our hundredth episode, and we wanted to do something really, really special, uh, but we didn't have time. So instead, so instead yeah. we did a master class, mm -hmm. and it's a, a master class that we have presented about uh, using celebrities in your entertainment pieces. So, uh, guys, what should they do? Roll it! If there's one thing that filmmaker Gary Marshall has taught Hollywood, it's the importance of the celebrity cameo. The movie does not even have to be good. You just have to cram as many movie stars in the movie as you can find. And with every cameo comes the rabid fan base. The more rabid fan bases you can stack, the more tickets you sell. We, the film pigs, take advantage of all the popular performers we know. We use them as guests, and every week they bring in millions of new viewers, making film pigs the cash cow juggernaut internet of all time. But how do you put all those celebrities into your movie? Well, one very special technique is to take all those movie stars and have them show up at random arbitrary times to save your main characters. Shit! No one's coming to our fundraiser! This is terrible. How will we save our theater? Well, guys, we did our best. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's Wendy Sweetlove and Rochambeau from Punch the Clown, and Claire Kramer from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Big Ass Spider. What are they doing here? I love all their work. They're so famous. Yes. Oh my God, celebrities here at our fair. If, if there was only some way we could use this to benefit ourselves wow. somehow. I got it. What? Hey, you guys, would you please go on your vast social networks and ask your big, big fan groups if they, uh, and tweet and tell them that they are here and you would like them to come here to our fundraiser? Um, sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, awesome. The theater is safe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 This guy's a good celebration. Oh. Right, just get, get down. Oh, get, get, oh. oh. force blowjob yeah. time? Another technique is to have a celebrity play a bit part, like a pizza delivery person. Audiences are thrilled when they see a famous person play a role that is way beneath their station. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm I faint. do. I need so to. I'm, I'm gonna blood sugar is low. Hand. Hey, was that the doorbell? Come in. Come in. Pizza. Cool. Some uh, pizza here? Oh, hey, hey, you look familiar. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That looked like Scott Krinsky. It looked a lot like From it. Chuck. Yeah, from yeah. Chuck. Yeah. Careful, it's lukewarm. Was that yeah. Alexandre Antoine? I think it was. It looked what? just like I feel like. Wait, how many pizzas what? did you order, guy? 20? Yeah, from, from 20 different places. Doing a taste test. See who's best, you know. Uh, Delivery. Uh, wait. Oh, you look like Kate Quinn. Never heard of her. No, it looks, no. No, nah, it, nah, that nah, was that. uncanny. Hey, a, okay, these, now, These come rocker on. guys. It's the band people. No, the road punch the clown. Yeah, what, I don't, why are they what, delivering what? pieces? I don't know. To, there you go. That was Claire. That was Claire Kramer. Kramer. That, that was her. That was her. Is that, is that Gabe Olds? Is that Gabe Olds? He's pissed about something. Yeah, he's a mean delivery guy. I'll go get some uh, plates and some forks and stuff. Yeah, I gotta lay down. Guys, it's, it's burning my forehead. Or you can use our favorite celebrity cameo technique, the wall of cameos. A nice day. Oh, look at that pretty bird up there. Hi, bird. Uh, nice bird. Yeah. Slavery's wrong. Fuck off, Brad Pitt. And that's, and that's cameos. cameos. Well, there that's, it is. It's uh, that's a lesson that I, I, I it, it's very uh, important. Yeah. It really is, and well said. Yeah, yeah. and that, yeah. and we employ that on our show, and that's a All big part of what our show oh, is. I'm glad they, they like kept great. their theater. Those guys. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. was like cool, and they ate a lot of pizza. Yeah. that was mm -hmm. great. Yeah. And then they had a nice walk. It seemed like. It's been a good show. Yeah, it's I feel amazing. like this show has it's been, been great. It's been really amazing. Yeah. It's like a great hundredth. Oh, what? what? Guys, you're right. It is a great oh show. And you God. guys have hit a hundred episodes. Oh and, my you know, God. I just wanted to do something a little oh, bit special. Thank, thank you guys. You. Can you get a so shot of that so cake? Great. Can you get in on that cake? Yeah. Oh I mean, this is God. like a beautiful design that oh. I've worked on here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. 100. Um, I well, I think, I think that means we should probably do a hundred more. Well, I agree, a hundred more. Yeah, right, guys? Yeah. We, 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 you know, we, what, what? Maybe, uh, I just, I just having a, su a suggestion, like maybe oh. you could not do a hundred more. Oh. 
Oh, like, yeah. like have you, you guys tried oh. not being film pigs and maybe not subjecting the internet to this anymore? Like, 100's good, right? Right? Like, 100's good. Yeah. I mean, good 100's job. job. Good yeah. Job. yeah. Let's, let's end job. on a, on a yeah, 100. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, it's like 100. I mean, it's a lot. That's this good. Is, Quit this while you're on top. Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. 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 course, like, like, we could do you know, a I think we should. I mean, this is. This is America, though. You like want to do as much as possible. Right. Yeah. We make people happy, right? Yeah. Well, that is global, well, I try to get so it. we don't need to just happy is subjective. Only. I'd rather read. Yeah. Uh, you know, just show of, show of hands, who wants more film pigs? Ooh. I do. Yeah. 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 Oh, easy. Um, Eat pigs. One finger. Well. Uh, what is that? What is a finger? Is it count? Is let's, a hand? Or let's or try I, something I new. Like not the show. Okay. I yeah. don't. I mean, oh. I, that, I just, duly noted, it's a good note. It's a good we'll, note. We'll, we'll it's consider a, it. Who wants to go to the microbrewery, yeah? 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the beer? show's not really yeah. done yeah. yet. Yeah, we're yeah. still yeah. Are, so you guys, guys, are you guys, yeah. oh, guys going go, go 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 to go to the brewery? Thanks for the scotch, guys. Thank you. Good memories. You did it. Save me a seat. All right, that's cool. We'll be there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll save you a seat. That was OK. Um, okay. Forget them. Forget yeah, that's them. Right. Yeah, that's great. There, right. there you go. Buddy. All right, let's uh, let's all close our eyes and we'll blow out the candle. And while we have our eyes closed, we're gonna wish what we wish for the next hundred episodes. All right, all right. All right. All right. I'm gonna go first. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I wish that uh, we just have more great guests and we really continue to gel and cohese as a show. Uh, I wish, I wish uh, that um, I'll get like more respect from Steve and Steve just like as an artist and that we get like more like more people from the porn industry as guests. Oh and and I wish that when we get to the end of the next 100 episodes we do 100 more episodes you guys. All right, ready? Uh, uh, one, one, two, two three. three. There's no, what Where's happened to the cake? cake? There is I don't no know what cake happened here. to the cake. Claire? That's cool. That's cool. Where was the audience? Claire? They went to McLeod's, the brewery next door. Why did, why, why who did? Who cares, who cares guys? Did you have fun? Did you guys have fun tonight? I mean, I did, but. I, I had fun. Here's I'm to another hundred. Here's confused. to another hundred. Popcorn it up, you guys. Uh, okay. Popcorn it up. Come on, Steve. Just, I'm confused. Just Steve, come on. Just because popcorn. Just Rihanna get your popcorn, cake. and it's just come on. Why did Claire take like, the cake? Todd? Here's to hundred. I don't know. Why did Claire take? I the just cake? want to make people happy. I know, but it's okay. Until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. Oh, oh. Why did Claire? Are take we really the cake? that bad? I. I'm not 100 percent sure anymore. I was fully confident when I walked in here today. And now I feel weird. I mean, aside from the comments that say you guys are faggots, stop. They're pretty, people like us. Yeah, there are the homophobes who hate us. I mean, those are the only comments we get, but. Mostly. True. I don't know, I, th I thought it was a good show, you guys. Seriously though, why did, why did Claire take the cake? Hmm. I don't know. It feels like. She's probably waiting with the extra celebration in the other room. Oh! oh it's, a real it's, it's like a surprise! It's a second uh, surprise! Goodbye, second surprise! surprise. Oh, oh, take goodbye. a scotch. Todd, Todd, Todd. All right, well, I'll take your scotch.